Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Ron G T P. I'm giving you guys a dauntless video today. An update. Our update was released for console and also PC. We have a, we on update 0 0.8.2. I'm going to be reading off the major changes to you guys, and if you guys want to read the rest of the notes, the link to that in the, is in the description. So we're going to read all the major changes and some of the fixes. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, please be sure to subscribe to the channel come back because i have more dauntless content and way helpful videos and also if you guys find this video helpful please be sure to drop a like down i'm going to start with my number one favorite one then i'm going to read the rest of them off to you guys but on the hunt board details behemoth strength and weakness are now viewable from the hunt board this should help slayers better plan and prepare for hunt so if you go to pursuit there's only works on like when you go and like directly pursue a pacific behemoth it's going to show you the weaknesses and also which what type of armor you should wear. And I'm glad they did this. And I'm also doing a video on the patrols, the patrol boost that costs a thousand platinum. I'm going to be discussing and, you know, going over that you no know, feature for you guys. It's 10 bucks real life cash to get this. But if you check the link in the description, which in the video it should pop up and you guys can, you know, get educated about that a little bit more. But I'm going to read off the rest of the notes to you guys. We now have new color change regions for so some of the, uh, our armors. We weren't able to change the colors on. You're now able to do that with more of the grays now. You're able to change the colors on those. So if you have a few weapons you want to customize with your new dye colors that you have brought or even unlocked, you can now customize them a little bit more with your weapons. Any hiccups you see now in the game, you're able to report them through the sub menu in the help section now. So you're able to go ahead and report the bugs so they can fix them up for us. That's one of the new changes they added in. And now they add like a new shimmer to Karabak. If you know who Karabak is, Karabak is that walsh looking behemoth. When they go invisible, it's kind of hard to see, but if you have to, you know, pay really close attention to see where it's at, because the, the visible status of that is really impressive but now they fixed that so now you'll be able to see her a little bit better to whenever it goes in that camo stage so be on the lookout for that shimmer you'll be able to see it a little bit more easier now cancel matchmaking and skip matchmaking should now work as intended that's a new feature i've been hoping for this i'm glad they put this in because when i first kind of started i was counseling out my my hunts so i could like go ahead and craft the weapons or armor that I needed because I forgot a piece and I go hit cancel and it kept going and going so I have to press start and go and quit the menu but now when we hit cancel now they have fixed that but thank you guys for tuning in to Ron Jin Tandy P. This has been my Dauntless Update video. I, mean, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this content. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. If you have any any help with any behemoths, hit me up on next box. The gamer tag is Sir Overkill. You guys see it in the background. I do help everybody who I can help with Dauntless. But I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And, you know, be safe out there hunting these behemoths. Black Jesus.